a real rainbow. Why is there a rainbow? flares and stuff, but rainbows, you know, that's not what I wanted to make the video about, and I'm not going to set the camera on because there's a reason that I have it in my hand, but what I want to show you, now I can't even see my screen, I, I, I think most of you know what this is, this is a freaking awesome program that allows you to look at the planet Earth. And it's made by our friends at Google. Now, this is the North Pole on Google Earth. And mind you that I have it time set like oldest. It doesn't really matter for more global views. It doesn't change a lot, but brighten it up a little bit, adds a whole bunch of detail in all the most recent maps when you play with this sort of thing, which is probably a huge amount of processing, but if you don't click on the time setting, you, you won't have to worry about that. But anyway, it's not an instructional video, this is a thought-provoking video. Wow, it looks so bad now. Wish I hadn't even messed with that. There. There's the planet. You know, it's wholeness. Okay. So, here we are. And I want you to look at and notice the size of the Arctic Ocean. Where's the North Pole? There it is. Mind you, right now, it is the year of Christ, 2014. Um, yeah, Come here. it is 2014, and I know, I know the resolution on this video is going to look like crap, and that's because I'm using a 10-year-old webcam. need to be sent and quality quality it's the quality of the message not the quality of the video that's important if you're a video maker and you you, you want to get your message out there if you're
you're a person that wants to get your message out there and you want to be a video maker what's more important the quality of the video or the message I can see weird and I'll see like copper a copper color the photoreceptors am I seeing the photoreceptors behind the lens uh, um yay um look okay point thought right now the arctic ocean is covered for the most part in ice this is not obviously live this, this is the this is wrong. That's not the point, though. Okay. The point is, I want you to imagine a future where there is next to no 